Let's stop talking about them and start riding them. The Honda Grom has been a hot topic for months. Honda released the motorcycle onto the U.S. market recently, and I finally had a chance to give it a whirl. So ladies and gentlemen, here it is. Big guy in a little coat time. The Grom. Although the Honda Grom is smaller than usual, it packs quite a lot of cool stuff. The engine's been around a while in a scooter sold in many places across the Pacific Ocean. It weighs 225 pounds. The seat sits 29.7 inches off the ground. That engine, four stroke, 125 cc, way reliable. It also comes with digital fuel injection, which lends itself to easy mods. It has a four-speed transmission to get you up to speed quickly. The wheels, 12 inches. They're flanked by hydraulic disc brakes, 220 millimeters on the front, 190 millimeters on the rear. It has some cool inverted forks, a single shock in the rear, a multi-function digital instrumentation cluster, speed odometer, tack, trip meter, fuel gauge, clock, etc. It has a cool looking headlight, and an LED tail light. It holds 1.45 gallons of go fast juice. Uh, well, in this case, I guess go fun juice. And check this out. It can even handle a passenger. Oh, and for a hundred pennies under three grand, it's for everyone, new and old riders alike. Really get a lot for such a small bit of money to spend on a motorcycle. How does it handle? With those 12 inch wheels, it's a little bit twitchy, but you get used to it within a matter of a couple of seconds and you can really get comfortable on this motorcycle. It wasn't like, uh, like a little dirt bike with 12 inch wheels. It's really so much better, I think, with that longer wheelbase than compared to a smaller motorcycle. It doesn't really feel like a teeny tiny bike when you jump on it, even though I'm sure in the video I look like a monster. You know, you roll on the gas and the fuel injection is very smooth doesn't have, you know, throw you in the back of your seat kind of horsepower, but it's a 125 cc engine out of a scooter that's been in the Pacific Rim that Honda's made for quite a while. So from what I understand, there's already mod kits available for it, fuel injection stuff, uh, suspension. The front forks are, are pretty, pretty thin. I mean, there's not a lot of, not a lot of stiffness in those front forks and it bottomed out a couple times over those big bumps. So I had to stand up out of the seat going over train tracks and things like that. But, you know, if I was gonna own one of these, and I certainly hope I have one of these in my garage someday. I would definitely work on the springs for me, both front and rear. But the biggest thing about the Grom, plain and simple, it is fun, 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 fun. I mean, it's so much fun. You jump on it and you just want to jump on the rear brake and go around, do donuts in parking lots. And I don't know if anybody's wheelied this thing. I certainly couldn't, but uh, it is just a handful of fun. And in a place like California where traffic's tight and you can split lanes, this is a perfect vehicle. But if you want to step up from a scooter and you know you, you, you want to go get some groceries or even throw a passenger on the back and have a, a really nice date, this would be a great way to do it. Look, go down to your Honda dealership and check out the Honda Grom if you can find one. You know, they planned these things out a couple years ahead of time, so the economy was kind of down when they decided to order these motorcycles. And from what I hear, they're selling really quickly. So get down to your dealership, check out the Honda Grom because there's gonna be riding groups and, and racing series and all kinds of stuff around this motorcycle because it is just too much fun to have for such a great price point.